Also moving higher, the price of oil. Crude oil closed above $103 a barrel today, the most in more than four months. Fueling the price hike, forecast for more cold weather, which boosted demand for home heating oil. And it's not just crude prices that have been moving higher. Natural gas prices hit a five-year high today, up a staggering 43 percent so far this year, and crossing the closely watched $6 mark. Jackie DeAngelis has more now on why consumers will be paying more for nat gas. Natural gas futures up more than 10 percent today, crossing that critical $6 level. We haven't seen these kinds of prices since December of 2008. Now, the dramatic move puzzling some traders early on because Nat Gas's recent swings have been weather related, but the extreme cold letting up at least for a bit. So why are prices spiking? Well, some say it's because the damage has already been done. The polar vortex has caused Nat Gas demand to spike, which has taken supplies down several weeks in a row. What was considered a glut of natural gas has vanished. And right now we have already now certain sort of uh, logistical issues that come with as far as delivering the natural gas and giving people reason for concern. The nature of the supply declines reported have been roughly twice what they were at the same time last year. Now tomorrow the Department of Energy will release its storage report for the week ended February 14th. Once again traders saying it's likely that the drawdown in supplies will exceed their expectations and that spurred buying in the pits today. Meantime the break from the cold may be brief weather models suggesting that the rest of February and much of March could be very frigid. So what does the future hold for Nat Gas? Well some are saying not to be surprised if it reaches seven dollars. That's because when the extreme cold finally does let up, there won't be a lot of catch up time before the severe heat starts this summer. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jackie DeAngelis reporting from the NYMEX.